Getting to neighboring state Virginia is about to get a lot easier for you. The federal government is making a $58 million investment to create what is being called the Raleigh to Richmond Corridor, or RTR. CBS 17's Deanna Harley joining us live. And Deanna, the governor and other elected leaders just made this huge announcement. Yeah, Laura, hey, we're in downtown Wake Forest right now where Governor Roy Cooper and other officials made that announcement, choosing to make it here because there's going to be a stop here in Wake Forest on that rail service. Officials today just saying they are really, really excited to connect North Carolina and Virginia. Now, this initial grant will cover some of the funding for the project, including the original engineering of that project. The $58 million grant is the largest federal grant awarded in this fiscal cycle. Governor Cooper saying today they will put it to good use. We want to make sure that North Carolinians can get where they need to go in a faster, cleaner, and a more reliable way, even if it is to the Commonwealth of Virginia. My <laughs> Now, in terms of a timeline, there's not really a clear one right now. Officials saying earlier today that we could see that train service coming here anywhere between three and seven years from now. For now, reporting live in Wake Forest, I'm Dina Harley, CBS 17 News. And Dina, I have not had the chance to visit Richmond, so it looks like I'll be taking a train uh, for a visit in the next three to seven years. Might be a little bit, but that's okay. Thanks for that. All right, people living near the Kenmore's